So it's very difficult uh, looking at the sun and the blue skies at the moment to believe that tomorrow it's to snow very, very heavily. Uh, 63 millimetres of snow, so the forecast tells me. So uh, we're going to make the most of today and uh, I am at a hill that I would just call La Costa. That's just one of the trail names. Uh, we're above Boltania, just outside of Ainsa in northern Spain. We'll be here for a couple of weeks. Uh, there's one hill and there are three trails coming off it, two of which I have ridden before. The first run that we will be doing is out in the open on the ridge line itself. Uh, we're mainly out of the trees. We have some fantastic views the whole way down. We'll get the drone out. It will look awesome. I'm almost certain. Then Alex will give me a lift back up and I will do uh, La Costa itself. And that is a really fast flowing piece of single track on the northern side of the ridge. So uh, very much in the woods. It'll be very uh, cold in the shade today, so I'll need to look out for ice. But otherwise, it's one of the best trails I've ever hit. In fact, one of my fondest memories of riding my bike was following BKXC down here on one of our Basque MTB trips. And then we'll come back up again, and we're going to go down the south-facing side of the ridge. Now, this trail I didn't know existed until last night, um, and it might be terrible, it might be amazing. But hopefully it's pretty good and completely different to the other trails. Uh, we're only doing three runs today, but it's a big old hill and there's loads and loads of descending and hopefully loads of variety. If you do come to this area, I recommend doing one of these trails. Is that the drone? In the backpack. Cool. Cool. Have yeah. fun. Don't spend too long reading your book. No, I'll leave here in about 20 minutes. Okay. okay. Really? Yeah. Saying you can get down quicker and then get up. Okay, 10.50. <laughs> yeah, right, see you in a bit. Okay, bye. Right. Don't really ever get sick of that here. So this will be our second run. Goes down the back there. Unbelievable drill. Well, this is it. This bridge. A wee bit further in. Stunning. No matter where you look. I'm trying to hop and skip through these bits. Oh, more of a ridge line than I had remembered it to be. Keep up there. Wow. Better than it looks. Conditions are cold, but damn near perfect otherwise. Deeper, chunkier too. <laughs> oh, a few multiple lines in here now. Ah, oh, and that's a shortcut. I hate taking shortcuts. Ooh. Whoa! Oh, 
very, very hard trail to keep consistent on and to read and see where to go. Oh, different varieties of rock. <laughs> as long as you like rocks, you like this trail. Woo. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I forgot about this bit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck. A bit close to the pylons there. where our second trail joins up oh, like right here so this is a shared finish I've never been here in summer. That'll be incredibly cold right now. Right, a little glimpse into my setup. I'll show you more of the van and I think. Hola. Good. Yeah. Venga, venga. Hola. Luckily for me, Alex is confident enough to drive a seven meter long big heavy van up and down narrow Spanish roads, which, yeah. It's not you, the narrowest though. It's not the narrowest <laughs> roads, we've been narrower. Yeah. But I am grateful either way. It means I get three fantastic runs in for minimal effort. So roughly we are coming down through these woods on this next run. It's hard to tell, I think I can see a slight cut line up there, but I, I couldn't say for sure. But yeah, all the way along there. Here we, here we, here we, I can go. Fast, flowing, natural, single track. Whoa. Yep. That's all right. Remember falling. Oh, Brian down here. He was tearing up. Oh, a glimpse at the elevation off to the left hand side. Oh, 
that's blowing so well. Inside. Oh, two insides. moment. The run wouldn't be complete without one. Eyes were watering at the worst possible time there. You can actually hear how well the bike is doing with us. Developing a death grip. Negro, and here it is. <sighs> this is one of the oh, even more's went, even more has went. This is one of the less exposed sections, but still, it would hurt that much. I can say we've actually come round the hill. There we go. That bridge is the road up. So we're right around the front of the hill now, traversing across the nose, so to speak. Ah, and yeah, this is where the character changes a lot. It's, uh, once you've done all that first flow, these next few hairpins and steep shoots can feel pretty damn full on. Oh, oh I've never done this place before. That straight lined a lot of it. Oh. Yeah. Well that is <laughs> I have definitely got better since last time it was here. 100 percent There we go and that's us back on to where we merged with the bus trail. Oh, oh that's such a difficult one. <laughs> That was goofy. <laughs> Truly one of the best descents I've ever done. So just like that, we have been transported, teleported, back up to the top. Let's do it, let's see if it's any good. There we go. Right, very much the complete opposing side last run. In theory, we should be a little bit rockier as it's south facing. And yes, it is more arid. Whoa. Yep, 
very sharp. If you're coming to Spain, put on the toughest tires you can find. Anything other than the toughest will just get ripped apart. It has been hot. The angle turns for the win. My bike is like 18 months old, but thanks to a bit of servicing and TLC. I can't really distinguish the performance from the day I got it. Modern bikes, man, they just keep an absolute hammering. When I were a lad, bikes would be falling apart every single time you went out, and you'd need several tubes to you were pop them. If you're just getting into biking now, you have never had it so easy. It's the best time ever. So far. Oh man. Do you know what? I think I have done this particular trail with uh, Yurun from Unbeaten Adventures who uh, guides in this area. Check him out. Uh, Unbeaten Adventures. Yeah, we came down this and we cut off and went up that hill. We're not going to do that particular one today but it's quite cool to know where I am within reason. Well, I must say, the brake performance has been really good. Every bit as good as the Hope V4s, just without all the noise. See about reliability and serviceability. Oh fuck. <laughs> the wrong turn. Just when you think the trail's fizzling out, it becomes interesting again. Well, there's no two ways about it. Those three trails off that one hill were all very, very good and all completely different. So I would 100% recommend coming here and doing one, if not all of those trails.